Hi Aquarius, this is Kelly from Mumpai Tarot. This is your uh, three month love forecast, June, July, and August for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Some of these messages may or may not resonate for you. If they don't, you can check your other signs. If you would like to contact me to get a personal reading, visit my website link below in the description box, or you can contact me on the Instant Go app as long as you have your iPhone. Download the app, connect with me there call, chat, or text. Also, I will be uploading videos, um, unique type readings for a minimum price. <clears throat> if you wish to purchase, you can. Uh, they won't be readings that I'll be doing here on YouTube. These are very special. Um, I haven't done them yet, but they're coming up soon as I finish all of my readings for you guys for this three month time. Oh, and guess what? I'm going to be a grandmother. I'm so excited. Did I say that last month? I can't stop talking about it. <clears throat> I'm super, super happy. Um, it's going to be a boy. I already have three sons. So I think I'm going to make a good grandmother for a boy. So um, I just wanted to share that. I don't usually share my personal information. Um, but here I am doing it because that's a big one. That's very, very significant for me. Um, okay, so Aquarius, let's get started with your reading here and see what's going on. So I'm shuffling the Romance Angels Oracle deck to see what your overall energy and messages might be for love for the next few months. So let me see. This one I'm feeling. Oh, you've got Deception. What a great card to start with for a love reading. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So Aquarius, is this someone that you're currently dealing with or someone from your past or is this you? Deception card mm. may not be happening on purpose. Sometimes people just have insecurities and they hide. Sometimes that happens. Um, however, it is what it is. So let's have a look here. Um, I'm sure this will tie in somehow. So we'll come back to it if I have to. So let's have a look here and see. I'm seeing June. This right here is going to be June, then July, then August. So I feel like well, I'm going to be straight. The Ace of Wands can sometimes mean a new beginning in creative affairs and passions. It can sometimes also mean um, new sex or um, something's trying to manifest in that realm for you, either coming from you or from someone else. Um, I feel like you want something new to manifest here in that area. And you want it to be life changing or um, explosive. <laughs> okay, some of you are just looking for explosive sex. There you go. So let's get that out of the way. Otherwise, um, there is a new beginning trying to happen here for you. You have two major arcana cards here. So this is not minor stuff that's going on in your personal life. This is profound and it's going to change your personal life for the better because the ace of wands and the magician that's positive creative passionate fiery explosive energy coming through in whatever way you want to think about it, whether your mind's in the gutter or you're, you're right here with me, whatever direction, wherever you're at, that's the energy. This is energy that's playing out, okay, for June. I, don't, I haven't done this, like, only for, like, the unknown card, I think I, cl I clarified, maybe something else, but I just kind of feel like I want to clarify the major arcanas, the magician and the tower, because I know there's, like, some new beginning that's trying to happen here you know it's almost as if you know this wand is just sprouting out of the ground you know like 
trying to be born something new something new is manifesting in your personal life creatively that's trying to be born sexually creatively passionately whichever it is because a magician has all the tools and and everything he needs to to you know he's he's the uh he's the carpenter of the spirit world you know he shows up with everything he needs to build and manifest he knows exactly what he needs to do to do this he's not the he's not the little guy that comes with just the hammer i mean he's got everything and he's very intelligent he knows he knows what he needs to do to manifest whatever this new beginning is he's pretty forthright you know So let me look at him. Okay, for some of you, this has to do with a working situation. Or doing, and if it's not work, it's just something new happening in your life pers on a personal level. Uh, learning something new. There's something new. The magician is newness. The three of pentacles, this is communication. So it can be some kind of communication with someone that you work with where there's passionate, fiery energy that wants to begin. The tower, let me clarify this, because the tower can go either way. This could explode and end badly, or this could explode and uh, rebuild on a new foundation. So let's clarify to see what the energy is for the tower. Well, there's a lot of reciprocity here, a lot of giving, and again with the pentacles. And we go from the three to the six. And the six is, at least to me, this is about um, change. So, and here he is, like giving change. Okay, so there's a major change that's going to happen in your life in June. And this change could have something to do with your personal creative, uh, like your soul. Your soul is going to change. Or your sexual, your sexuality, who you are as a person. Like, I know this is actually more intense than just the very simple, oh, you're, someone's coming in and you're going to have babies. It's, this is like deeper. This is way deeper on a much deeper level. I feel like, you know, it's, it's almost as if like there's this, this flower that's trying to bloom up out of the dirt, something new that's trying to manifest, to grow, to be new, and it's going to change everything. So the Six of Pentacles can sometimes talk about reciprocity, a give and, give and take kind of situation. And since this is a love reading, um, this change is going to come in the sense where you're going to be more giving in some way, maybe helping someone financially or, um, you know, balancing things out. It's almost as, you know, he's holding the scales there. So it's kind of like, you know, he's giving equally and there will be an equal exchange between you and another person. Now, going into July, this has something to do with traditional, a traditional way of life. You could have someone different religion from you, different race, different ethnicity. I don't think those are the same. Different cultural backgrounds. Um, this can have to do with marriage institutions, commitments, your faith. So yeah, some of you may be thinking of marriage. Maybe this is something that you hadn't thought of before. You know, um, or just maybe you have thought of it and it just kind of left your mind just as quickly. But I'm seeing some crazy stuff here and I want to clarify the Hierophant because I'm confused why this Four of Cups is here. I'm sorry for this blur. I hope you don't mind if I fix it. Please be patient with me. I don't understand why. I'm just not going to talk anymore about it. It's, it's the most frustrating. 
I'm just not going to hold the cards up. Um, okay. This is killing me. So the Five of Cups here. Some of you are leaving a marriage or you're leaving a relationship in July. And that's why that you're trying to manifest something new here. Perhaps with someone. So the Hierophant could be Taurus. The Tower can be Scorpio. I forget what the Magician is. Isn't that terrible, being a reader? And I don't remember. Here, let me look it up. I know some of you might know. I don't know why I don't know. I think it's because I'm, I'm getting old and I can't remember things as well anymore. And I don't think I have it in here. So... For those of you who are more skilled at tarot than I am, because I'm sure there's a ton of you out there, if you could um, tell me, because I can't find it. Anyway, so whatever that sign would be, because I'm just, I think it's, oh, is it in the beginning? Is it Aquarius? Could be you. Either way, um, Either way, this is something that's going to happen quickly. I will tell you that. However, some of you may be trying to manifest something with someone, a new beginning, and it gets rejected by them. This person comes across as kind of cold. It's Queen of Swords, King of Swords. She's truthful, but she's a bit cold. He or she as far as emotions, you know, they're just like, eh. and there's a difference here. There's apathy. So in the case of it's you leaving a relationship, feeling sorrowful about the ending to something, um, this could just be your indifference. Now you, you, you know, you have your sorrow and then you reduce back to the four of cups from the five of cups where you basically just, say, I'm not going to think about it anymore. What's done is done. And then maybe you close yourself up. Okay. So maybe the manifestation that's trying to happen is rebirth. You getting out of a particular relationship or ending something. Okay. And then reaching out to others, getting yourself reestablished. Um, for some of you, you're manifesting something new with someone and letting go of the past here and becoming indifferent to the past. Okay, so that's for July. So this deception card, I feel like, is really you taking your mask off. You've been wearing it for a while. You've been hiding uh, under this false, this falseness. You haven't been... Um, like your true self in a, in regard to a particular thing, which is not very common for Aquarius. Aquarius is pretty truthful. You know, they're just, they are who they are. Um, you guys just are just, you know, if you want to wear a blue hat and purple sneakers and a trash bag pair of pants, you'll do it and you'll go out in public and you don't care. So something though has kind of been blocking you. I feel and I, f I feel like you're perhaps recognizing that you've been not really being true to yourself or you, or you haven't been that way, haven't really been in your element. And the, the, the mask is starting to come off now for you. The truth is coming off, okay? And you're getting truthful with yourself here with the Queen of Swords. Some of you are ending something with someone, like I said, whatever those signs were that I pointed out. You've got the Empress and Judgment. But I'm not going to get into all these signs. I just want you to, you know who I'm talking about when you, you know who this reading is about. Going into August, yeah, this person here, if it's not you, this, this air sign, other person, basically, you know, I feel like, not so much maybe this person, but I, whoever it is, I feel like, you know, this person also deceived you, okay? Because that's what this Five of Swords is. Look, the, the sword's in the back. Someone stabbed you in the back. 
with a couple of swords. This keeps progressing to the Ten of Swords, but you're not going to stick around. You know, how many does she have in her back? Two. You're not sticking around for eight more. You're just kind of like, I'll grieve the loss. I'm ready to start something new. I'm not going to stick around for this anymore. There is someone coming in for you. Okay, this Empress energy, there, this is a mother figure. This is someone who's full of vitality. This is someone who is very beautiful, very handsome. If it's a male, very stable. Uh, for a female, um, you know, she represents all things life. Okay, and if this is you, it's really just, you know, look how she, I see you evolving. You go from her, or if you're a male, him, either way, you go from evolve, now my camera won't focus. You go from evolving from this sad person to this wonderful, happy, beautiful, colorful person all in August, okay? Or there's someone else who you're trying to manifest with that might be a little indifferent at this time because something might be up with that person. They're maybe just, I feel like you want to give to someone and you want to help someone and you want to, you know, but that's just your nature. But I feel like you want to give a little extra to a particular person. Um, maybe some of you in the transition, transitioning out of, not even just a relationship, but the mental hold that's still running through your mind about someone from your past. You know, this is a card of like, you know, sadness. You're not, you're grieving still in a way, but then there's something else happening here. There's something new that's trying to be born. And that's what I was saying. And, you know, you want this, but there's a little bit of apathy because you're still, you know, not sure. Someone was cold with your heart to some degree, you felt. But I feel here that that's going to actually, the realization of this, like the truth with the Five of Swords, you're going to realize that regardless of how much love you felt for someone or they felt for you, the fact of the matter is they stabbed you in the back. And that could have something to do with that deception on their part. And that was hurtful. And that was mean. And you're probably getting yourself to this place now where, hey, wait, 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 wait. This person is stupid. It's not going to affect who I am. I'm still amazing and wonderful and, you know, goddess. I'm a god. Whatever. Your self-esteem just shoots right back up. And I see here judgment, truth. Okay? I see, like, everything's starting to come out now, like the truth. You go from the deception to judgment day. You know, whatever you gave to this person or whatever you did to, to someone, all, all that you gave is that's they're going to be their karma will come back to them and you will experience your freedom now. Your freedom to move on with your life. Your freedom to manifest this new beginning You because you're feeling it here during this month of June. Like you're ready to go. But you, you still need to like, I feel like, I'm sorry, I'm fixing again. I feel like in the month of July, you're still going to need to um, let the rest of this energy with someone dissipate. And then it's all going to go good in August. There's some type of a new beginning coming. Your truth is coming. You're opening your eyes. You're taking your mask off. Because look, this is a bunch of people wearing masks. I'm going to have to fix this again. You see how those two people have masks on? And then she's got a mask on too. Everybody was living in this masky little place. And now the, they're all starting to come off. So I want to clarify this judgment. So the moon. Oh, yeah. This is great. 
your emotions, your hurts, uh, things will start to be shed. The lies or the things that I feel like came out of this are just actually going to come up and out and go, fly away. Oh, goodness. Oh, yo, I got to take them. These are too amazing. So you've got accepting your situation. Wait, let me fix this again. I know I'm the most annoying person on the planet. Accepting your situation here with the hangman, letting things go. Three of wands, expansion, moving on, change, seeing the world from a different point of view now. Ready to get back in the game. Ready to get back out there and play the game and compete to get what you want. The Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love, marriage possible, proposal coming, and the Four of Wands. That's also happy family, joyousness, happy marriage, happy family, like I said happy family, community, celebration. So, I mean, I think it's pretty easy. I just feel like it's most, despite what everyone else is doing around you, it's time for you to get truthful with yourself about where you are and what you want. Like, seriously. Because I do feel like, oh, do you hear that siren? That's your sign. That's your signal, what I just said. That's your big key to making these major changes. Right? Right? That's what this card, I mean, I mean, this card does represent reciprocity and stuff like that, but the tower is swift major change coming out of the blue, and this just is representing change to me, <laughs> exchange, change, exchange. So I kind of get the sense that once you get through this um, grieving process that someone has moved on, um, you've got a beautiful new beginning coming for you with all these sometime in August it may have already begun to manifest but there's just something blocking you something stopping you right now so I'm sure you will figure it out just let the energies play out for the next three months um, if any of this resonates for you and you want more clarity again you know PayPal links in the button in the description box below will get you a reading um, it, it can take up to seven days it really depends on the reading uh, unless you you can get the 24-hour reading if you want that video reading um, that's 24 hours or you know that's if you don't have the instant go app you could just download the app if you do and you can um, contact me there okay Aquarius thank you um, I hope I will be able to talk with you guys soon at least before the summer's out and I will let you all know when the baby comes all right take care bye <laughs>